All right, it's 21 Pilots. The Clancy album is here, and we get to start with Midwest Indigo, and a bonus to that also, because we're going to watch the live stream that Tyler and Josh did to talk about songs before they, before they were played and after they were played, and maybe learn a little bit about the lore and watch some amazing music. The full unedited version is out on Patreon. Don't miss it. Go to Patreon and see the entire album, minus those first three songs, out all together with no editing. It's just me talking and all kinds of mess ups in between. And you get to see some pretty cool stuff. And you don't have to sit and watch all these separate videos. You can just go watch the entire thing right there. So on the VIP tier on Patreon, it's a $7 tier, very minimal, and a chance for you to be able to support the channel, but also get some really good content. So mental health is our thing. I can't wait for this. This is so cool. Without further ado. Oh my goodness. It is time. <sighs> Tyler, Josh, 21 Pilots, Mental Health, Midwest Indigo. Let's get it. Welcome to our live stream where we're going to uh, premiere every music video that we have. <laughs> Love this. this record, Clancy. Um, listen, there's two other people here with me today. To my right, we have Josh Dunn. Josh, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Josh. <laughs> also, <laughs> I love this. These two seem like really good, genuinely really good friends. Like they just have fun. Tyler's the voice. He talks all the time. He's the front man. Josh doesn't choose to want to be in the limelight, but does it tremendously well. I just think he does it so well. And just the way he just cut him off there is probably how they are in life. I've got to see this again. Josh Dunn. Josh, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Josh. Also, <laughs> we That's have... really uh, about it. <laughs> we also have another very important person. I want to explain to you. Uh, actually, I'm going to let him do that. We have Mark Eshelman of Real Bear Media. He's been our creative director since day one. Um, Mark, introduce yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Mark? We've been working on videos for a long time. <laughs> Look at how he's dressed. I've been working with these guys since, what, 2011? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, wow. Uh, listen, it's late. <laughs> We're in our jammies. <laughs> We're ready for bed. I gotta get, I gotta get to bed. I know. Yeah. They, they actually are in their jammies. I didn't realize that. I thought Tyler had like a, some kind of spotted dress shirt on, and I thought... Josh is wearing this plaid kind of, you know, long sleeve shirt. I didn't realize they are literally all in their jammies. I'm exhausted. I brought my sleeping bag. <laughs> These guys um, think of everything. Right, We've got a bunch of videos to show you guys. We played Overcompensate, Next Semester, Backslide, The Craving, Single Version, which are all videos that have already been released. Um, let's, just, let's just get into it. The next song on the record after Backslide is Midwest Indigo. And so I think this is the world premiere. So as we're, what, we're, what are we doing? We're going to play every music video from this record. So cool. Uh, we shot a music video for every song. And the music video shouldn't be up until uh, we play it here on the stream. So at least that's what I'm being told. So this mm -hmm. is the premiere of Midwest Indigo. Go and ahead. the song. That means nobody's ever heard this song That's before. That's right. So you're welcome for your first listen ever with you us. In our no day. kidding. I've never heard this. Yeah. I've never heard it. West Indigo. I'm also amazed at how they go back on this. I'm also amazed at how they creatively do these videos so different? Sometimes people just put out kind of standard videos or lyric videos. They spent so much time creating this. So cold. Wow, it looks cold there. Pick is showing him. He's got a bass. Yep, yep, 
I just love how Josh, if you just can appreciate anything with Josh Dunn, how passionately he gets into the drums. When I listen to just their music, sometimes I'll just tune into the drums. You can hear such, an entire song with just drums. Sometimes they're just complimentary. He drums hard, he drums intently, and they, they incorporate so much cool drum into that. And I'm also noticing it's like, it's like they're on a lake that's frozen, which has got to be kind of bizarre to sit there and play music on a lake that's frozen and not know if it's going to just all fall apart. But watch it. Watch him drum. Yeah, a metaphor for life there, right? The, you know, he's, he's number one, I, he's talking about relationship in some way there, reaching out on my way home, and you can be so cold. And I, I'll try again. You make me sad and second guess myself. You can be so cold, Midwest Indigo. I wonder what Midwest Indigo represents. That's what I want to hear about. Because that whole intro can be applied to anybody's relationship. If you've ever struggled in a relationship, where it's like, wow, I'm reaching out. I'm trying to like talk on my way home. If you took it literally, but you could be so cold and, you know, okay, I guess I'll try again later. But man, it makes me sad. Like, it makes me wonder, is this like, okay? Like, is everything okay? But that whole piece, if you've ever been in a relationship long term, you can tell that like, man, what's the vibe? What, what has happened here? Because something seems off and I'm just trying to reach out. Running so late, I didn't have the time to scrape the frosted windshield. You know, if you ever leave, you got ice on your windshield or frost on your windshield and you can't see really through the windshield. Like we're barely scraping by. And he ties that scraping the frost off the windshield to the relationship barely scraping by. And, and you ever do that, it's like you try to scrape what you can and then you're looking to try to see what, what exactly is there. <laughs> you ever done that? Um, it is not fun because then you're squinting and you're not getting the full view and you need to take the time to scrape the frost off the windshield. You need to take the time to deal with the problems in your life. In relationship, this is your therapy for the day. Uh, always take time every day if you can to talk to the one you love, to the one you're in relationship with and just take five minutes, even 10 minutes to say what, how you feel about the relationship you're in and what you hope for the relationship with, that you're in. There's so many pieces to that. But if you don't, it's gonna build up like um, mold, it's gonna build up like just clogged drains and it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're talking. <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh has a puppy dog in there. He's on the phone. You pull up? Nope, I'm not there yet. Tyler looks disappointed. He looks discouraged. We're tight on time. We've got things to do here. Obviously, this is not as important to you as it is to me. This reminds you of anything with the relationships. So here goes the breakdown. And there's no communication going on. Like, let's talk about this. Let's talk about how we're going to make this work so that I don't feel disappointed, so that you don't feel stressed out, and we can make this work. Otherwise, the weather, the scenery is all going to be example of our relationship together. And they're playing out the relationship between the two of them here. <laughs> two dogs. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am so not laughing because of the story here. I'm just laughing at how he describes things. I mean, he's being so realistic. Like this, this means more than you think it does in this song, at least to me. This is mental health field right here. 
Cloud coverage matched my outfit to a knife. <laughs> Not to a T, to a knife. <laughs> just, just stabbing me. I requested, this is, I hope this isn't a knock on therapy because I don't ever want to do this to somebody in life. I requested counsel with the counselor and he canceled twice. Tyler, I will never cancel on you. If you call me and you want to talk, I will be here. We will make that happen. Doesn't matter where I am. So if you want to talk, please, Tyler, Josh, call me <laughs> because you shouldn't request counsel with the counselor and have him reschedule and cancel things twice. Didn't even reschedule. He just canceled twice. It's a different blue. It's deeper than it's been, which is the heaviness, the sadness, the depression. I'll be pulling in the parking lot before the heat kicks in. You ever do that? In the freezing cold, you're driving, trying to get the heat going in the car. And by the time you get to the place you're at, the heat hadn't even kicked on yet. Or it's just then kicking on. Didn't even get the benefit of the heat. That is equal to the relationship. And sometimes you feel like we just can never get the heat turned on. We can never get comfortable. We can never make things work the way they're supposed to work. It's pretty critical to remember that, okay? That, that's a vital thing in life. And that's where the check-in with relationships, talking about relationships, getting the therapy, all that is helpful for this. Otherwise, you're gonna be crossing paths and you're gonna be communicating on two different levels and you're gonna be misfiring and cross-firing and you're gonna build lots of resentment over things that you don't have to if you could just stop to talk. <laughs> is that his wife? Is that Tyler's wife? I think it is. Who's the guy? Is that his brother? <laughs> yeah! That was so cool. And everybody else is like, there's no big deal. What's the big deal? We're right on time. We're fine. We're two minutes late. It's no big deal. Well, you know what? Two people function two very different ways in relationships. And two minutes late might be horrible for one person and totally awesome for the next. And that's why you need to communicate that and talk about it. And I love how they're sitting on the bench just like whatever, like this is whatever. And he's skating around, such a good skater, with the camera filming Josh doing his drumming. This videography to me is awesome. I just love this. This is where you drift along for months or years in a relationship and it just feels icy. It feels cold. It feels cloudy. The windshield seems frost covered. Outfits matching the clouds to a knife. You know, it, things are just depressing. They're sad. We can't connect. We're not talking. So you know what happens? You just don't talk. And couples don't talk for a long time. And when they don't talk for a long time, they build resentment. And they also build assumptions about other people. And they don't take the time to say, I just want to share my part. I don't want to talk about you. I don't want to blame you. I want to talk about me and what I want and who I want to be. There's so many ways to help heal a relationship, y'all. There's the sun. Too deep in. No, no, now he slept, lost his grip. Wonder if that hurt. <laughs> and also wonder if the Midwest indigo is like a Crayola color, you know? Like, is that a color? Because it's indigo is a blue color, right? And that's a sad, it's a sad theme of this song. But I wonder if Midwest indigo is actually a color of a Crayola that uh, people have used. And he slipped on that ice and man, that looked like it hurt for sure. Oh, I want love and sunny days. I'm a bit too old to run away. You get far into it. It's like, I don't know, man. I can't really run away from this at this point. Not that somebody wants to, but it's not as easy to start over as when you're a teenager in your 20s or something. And it's, it's a little more simple with a lot less commitment. But we just want love and sunny days. And sometimes they don't have that in relationship. Mm. 
He ends up on his back, which is so interesting. Josh is just like, okay, we're done. He ends up on his back, just done at the end of this. What does this apply to? Is any of what I said accurate? Now we get that to find out. West Indigo, and um, Josh has got popcorn. <laughs> Guys, thanks for staying up late with us. Um, I guess, what is it, midnight here in, in Ohio? Yeah. Um, Tyler's got some good video work. Those shots that you did on the uh, mm -hmm. ice skates out there? No kidding. Fun fact, that ice actually was cracking and breaking. As <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Mark, yeah. I know that you were out there with the camera and a bunch of gear and kind of well, kind of pissing yourself a little bit. <laughs> well, the thing that would happen is that we would need to discuss the next shot. <laughs> I love what you're wearing, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and so, like me and my producer Nathan and some people we'd like get together and be like well I think for the next shot and all of a sudden we're <laughs> yeah and then Mark would say get like, away from up! me <laughs> yeah <laughs> get away from me um scary but didn't it just completely thaw the next day it was perfect timing yeah we yeah. should we couldn't have shot that video the following day it actually melted um a little uh surprise cameo from my wife Jenna and uh, your brother Jordan and oh Jim, it was Josh's your, brother your dog. yeah sorry um uh, I didn't know you were going to want to ride. That is funny. So that really was Josh's brother and Jenna, Tyler's wife. And isn't that something about the ice? Because they were doing a lot of bouncing around, skating around, moving around with heavy equipment. And that stuff could be weighted down on ice. I would have been nervous myself, but they didn't seem it in the video. Yeah. Your, your dog. Yeah, sorry. Um, oh, his I didn't dog. going to want to ride in ah, the front, at least. Right. Yes. But that was funny, yeah, because he had Tyler in the back. I didn't even catch that part of Tyler being in the back. And he couldn't even ride in the front because the dog was in the front. That's how bad the relationship got. That Tyler has to ride in the back. I'm not even important anymore. I don't matter. That kind of thing. Um, Actually, in the beginning of the video, I held up uh, a guitar pick with Jim, a little cartoon Jim face on it. That's what that was. I was wondering yeah, was, that. The original edit was just that like wide shot pushing in, and you're like, let me see all the footage. And you're like... I really like that part of it, which I think is what makes these videos so good is that like we sat there and we watched all the takes and we just spent so much time finding personal moments. Can you hear Josh chewing or is that just me? <laughs> I was hoping that everyone could hear can it. You, can you, do, that, can you stop doing that? <laughs> you don't want any corn? Ah, it gets in my teeth. All right. I don't know. You do like popcorn? Yeah, oh, this man. is going to be a really long stream if we do this. That's true. We have a lot more we'll videos to, to get to. Um, the next one is Routines in the Night. Before we get to that, though, more on Midwest, I wanted to mention the song itself. I guess, in a sense, it was a song to Ohio and where we grew up and the Midwest specifically and that feeling of driving to school um, and barely being able to see out the window. Um, this is one of the songs I'm most, not most, I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm very excited to play this one live. Um, the idea, which I haven't told you, is actually if we can get you a mic live Ooh. and you sing the part that, what I call the pre-chorus, did you pull up yet? Uh, oh, I like that. Well, think? Pack this baby up give and us take a, it out to can you, can you give us a little, uh, little taste? Do you know the song? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I, mean? I, know, I know the drum. <laughs> we'll work on it. Don't, don't worry about it. Did, did you they, pull up yet? I love it. When we were shooting that part where he had to say, not yet, into the phone, he kept on asking me, like, what's the line again? <laughs> yeah. yeah don't, I don't know the lyric. Hey, and so just so you guys know, I know we're getting our, our bearings. Um, Mark is in the same room with us. He's right over there. So when I turn like this, I'm actually looking at him. I know oh, you don't yeah. want me to do that because it's no, like... No, I've been... No, I said I was going to look at well, You were taught in yeah. film school or whatever, but I... <laughs> well, my film school doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> right. Oh, it man. It closed down. It closed down after I got Does your diploma go away when that happened? Like, did you have to I, take it off the wall? I asked my mom if she had it because I was nervous, and she said it disintegrated. It just poofed. It was like a Mission Impossible <laughs> letter. There is Midwest Indigo. It's not real therapy. It's just Tom breaking down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. Leave us your comments. And don't forget, the full unedited version is out on Patreon. Don't miss it. Go to Patreon and see the entire album, minus those first three songs, out all together with no editing, it's just me talking and all kinds of mess ups in between. 
and you get to see some pretty cool stuff. And you don't have to sit and watch all these separate videos. You can just go watch the entire thing right there. It's on the VIP tier on Patreon. It's a $7 tier, very minimal, and a chance for you to be able to support the channel, but also get some really good content. So try that out when you get a chance. Remember, mental health matters, and so do you. See you on the next Reaction Therapy.